Well, returning to the studio to tell us more about the major military drill in the north is Likud Knesset member and member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, Yoav Kish. Now, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So, you know, I think the, the biggest question on our minds, and, and tell us in your honest opinion, is do you see a war in the near future on the border of Israel and Lebanon? I don't think it's in the near future, but uh, once things will settle down in Syria, and I think it's heading towards that, then we're in a different uh, scenario. And what this drill is all about is that Israel understand that the next, uh, the next time that we'll have to face a northern frontier will be totally different from what we had 10 years ago. Now, what are some of those differences going to be? Hezbollah is a different kind of uh, opponent. If it used to be an organization, now it's a semi-state uh, organization, has accurate weapons, uh, tens of thousands of rockets, gathered uh, battle experience using drones, so more and more like an uh, army itself. Now, again, add to that that Iran presence right, probably would stay in Syria, even though Israel is fighting hard against mm -hmm. it. We might find Iran and Iran proxies might be Shia, uh, all kind of Shia uh, uh, army or groups who might be there, and together with Hezbollah and maybe even Assad army, this is a, diff a totally different story in that sense. So let's talk a little bit about Iran as well, because, you know, like you said, Iran is backing most, if not all, of the major terror threats that Israel is facing on the front lines. Um, how could, is it possible, first of all, for Iran to coordinate their different proxies um, to attack all at once? Of course, this is something that we are checking. Uh, you know, the differences in, in, in these proxies they have in Yemen they, with the Houthis, I don't think this will be relevant, but you have uh, Hamas, you have Hezbollah, uh, you have the Shia militias that might, and, and of course Assad. So all this together, and also inside Israel, uh, they have uh, the Islamic Jihad and, and in the West Bank. So we might see all these groups coming together in case that there's a frontier uh, against uh, one of them. So this is an issue that we truly consider. One thing that Iran managed to get by mm -hmm. that is to remove the threat from Iran itself. So. Uh, it's not like we have a direct border or direct front with Iran, right. but Iran managed to implant all these proxies mm -hmm. in our borders. Now, I mean, in the case that Hezbollah, for example, were to start a war on the Israeli-Lebanese border, Israel would also be have to simultaneously watching what's happening on the border with Gaza. And I mean, is Israel equipped to respond to a scenario in which we're seeing a war happen up on the north and an hour later an attack coming from Gaza? Israel, for many years, the Israeli army is preparing itself for a two frontiers war. So it's not that the Israeli army is built to deal only with Hezbollah or only with Hamas, but right. this scenario of dual frontiers is something that has been in the, uh, uh, let's say, the battle uh, uh, plans of the Israeli army. So that's important for everybody to remember that Israel has these things on, on their mind. Right, and, you know. and we, the army has been prepared for that. It makes, we don't know if it will happen, but there's a very uh, uh, serious scenario that it would, and we should be prepared for that as well. In your mind, what issue uh, and what potential conflict should Israel be the most worried about right now, or should be most focused on? If we're looking at the short term, mm -hmm. the short term is not in the north, it's in uh, Gaza, because just after the holidays, we're going to start building the uh, uh, underground barrier against the underground tunnels of the uh, Hamas, and that would be huge effort and Hamas will, she, will see this effort on the border, and that would be a very sensitive point because uh, he sees the tunnels as a strategic weapon and the barrier will cut it off. So that will be a very tense moment. These uh, year, a year and a half of building this barrier mm -hmm. is a very sensitive in the short term. In the long term, uh, no doubtly uh, Iran presence in Syria is a major threat together with Hezbollah. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in, you. Knesset member Yuav Kish. Thank you very much.